रहे हैं क्लास सिक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज पार्टिकल्स सो वट आर द पार्टिकल्स एज यू नो दैट एवरी थिंग अराउंड एस हैज थ्री फॉर्म्स दैट इज इन द थ्री स्टेट्स वी हैव ऑल द थिंग्स इन थ्री स्टेट्स सम आर सॉलिड सम आर लिक्विड्स एंड सम आर गैसेज सो वी कॉल दीज थ्री स्टेट फिजिकल स्टेट Uh, the, these are the photographs. One is uh, for solid, and the other is of liquid, and the third one is gas. Solids have one defined shape. You can say any solid object has its shape. So here is the shape of uh, a stone. So you can see it is a crystalline solid. In this photograph, it has flat surfaces and sharp edges. So you can see it's all the sizes. so the substances like sand and sugar may not appear to be obey these rules but close examination shows that each grain is hard solid which has a definite shape and retains it and they maintain their shape so what's the definition of the solid each grain here is a hard solid which has a definite shape and retains it So now come to the liquids. Liquids do have well defined. Liquids don't have well defined shape, and they flow over the surface. So there is no shape of liquids. Ah, uh, they ah uh, they occupy the space, uh, or they can cover the area, or they can ah uh, change into any shape in ah uh, of the pot in which the liquid is being poured. so when a liquid is poured into a jar or bottle it takes up the shape of the container but only up to the certain level so the liquid uh, has a specific volume which can be measured using measuring cylinder so what about gases gases do not have a well defined shape or volume when a gas is placed in a container it quickly takes up and avail any available space gases can also flow and is possible to pour heavy gases from one container to another uh, many substances can exist in all the three physical states uh, for example water you can say water is available in all the you can convert water in the, all the three states we can convert it into ice solid we can convert into liquid and also in the uh, gas or in the form of steam when we freeze it make it cool it will become solid so when we melt it so it will be converted into liquid and we uh, melt it or boil it more so it will convert it into the steam so it has the three states now come the particle model of solids liquids and gases what are what is particle model and uh, as scientists have built up a model to help explain how solids liquids and gases behave it is called the particle model and is based on three assumption there are three assumption of making this particle model so what are the three assumption the one all matter is made up of tiny particles which are continuously moving so all the matter are made up of as you know that any object of this universe everything is made up of small particles and that particles are continuously moving the second when the particles are close to each other they are attracted to each other when the particles of any object are together so they attract each other and they are combined together so they may be changed into the shape of solid so heating a material affects the movements of the particles so when we, you heat up any object so it will change the movement of the particles now come for the particles and how the movement affect on the things there are two kinds of tiny particles one smaller than the other the smaller particles are called atoms larger molecules are groups of atoms joined together we cannot see the individual atoms and molecules on solids or liquids or they are in gases but the particle model 
show how they are arranged together. And uh, scientific means these particle models in these diagrams. So this is the model of solid, this is the model of liquid, and this is the particle model of gases. In this particle model, you can see when the uh, molecules, these are the molecules of any solid object. And this is a molecule which is made up of small tiny particles. They are known as atoms. So these are the molecules. All these are the molecules. Why these are close to each other? Because these are the molecules of the solid object. So being uh, close to each other, they have a force that attracts them to each other like magnet. So they make them combined. Uh, so that's why they change their shape and in the form of solids and this is why a solid has fixed shape and volume now come for the second diagram you can see that the molecules are a little far from each other so here they have a little force of attraction but they are far from each other and the heat heat makes them away from each other so these are the molecules of the liquid in solid molecules are closed together tightly and in liquids molecules are far from each other that's why they can move in solids the molecules cannot move but in gas they can move very quickly and they can cover the far distances and they are very far from each other and they have no force holding of attraction between them so the atoms or molecules are far from each other and they do not attract each other they move in straight line frequently collide with each other and you can see when you spray any fragrance in one corner of the room the molecules of gas spread quickly by mixing with the air to the other corners of the room so these models can be used to explain why many things behave in the way that they do for example it can explain why liquids flow but solids do not because liquid can flow because their molecules are far from each other and they can be go further for, from each other more and why solids cannot because they have the force of attraction between them so they cannot flow and uh, why you can compress gases because they have a lot of space between them so that can be expressed also now come for the evidences what is the evidence of the for the particle model as you know that we cannot see individual atoms and molecules in solid so but we have the evidence that support the particle model uh, what is the evidence that particle exists uh, the first thing that, uh, uh, for example, have you ever seen a balloon? Uh, observe the balloon. You can ob uh, observe it now from this aspect that there are the, uh, when you blow a balloon, so it is filled up with air. After a few days, you can see that uh, uh, it, uh, its skin, it, 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 most of its air has gone out. So why it so happens? as you know that all the objects are, are made up of small tiny particles when the balloon is blown then the its surface is uh, go, gets tightly so it can have many tiny holes in in that so the due to the air pressure of air the particle of air can go outside of the balloon and after a, after a week you can see the condition of the balloon the skin of the balloon has millions of tiny holes in it the molecules in the air are small enough to pass through these holes and so the balloon deflates and the second evidence that particles are always moving you can see that particles are always moving whenever you take a cap of a bottle of perfume so the smell of the perfume spreads throughout the room and the uh, other corners of the room in a few moments so you can see that the particles of the um, uh, 
perfume or you can say that the sub particles of the spray are moving by uh, with them uh, with the movement of air or with the moving air so one substance spreading through another substance is called diffusion one substance spreading through another is called diffusion and other evidence about the particles that they are moving is that you can see uh, you can uh, have uh, have some smoke in a glass and you can place that on your microscope and you can observe that you can see that in the in that glass jar the uh, the molecules in, in the shiny mole the molecules of the smoke are shining and they are moving haphazardly and randomly and they are trying to go outside so the movement of the molecule was uh, uh, discovered by uh, a scottish scientist that is known as robert brownian so this random the this movement this bombardment bombarded movement is known as brownian motion so brown uh, note this scientist noticed that pollen grains move jerkily when placed in water if you place pollen grains in the glass of water you can see that they are moving haphazardly means randomly in the zigzag direction by and they are bombarded by movement of water molecules and they are colliding with the water molecules of that glass and uh, the port uh, evidence for the spaces between molecules and other evidence can you see that if you have 50 liters of water and 50 liters if you have um, if, uh, water in a tube till 50 cubic centimeter and you add 50 cubic centimeter more into that so what will be the volume of that water that will be at the 100 centimeter 800 cubic centimeter now there was another evidence that molecules have space that was uh, when in 50 cubic centimeter of water 50 cubic centimeter of alcohol was added so there was space in between the molecules of alcohol so that raised up to 95 cubic centimeter so where did that 5 cubic centimeter went why not they were 100 cubic centimeter when 50 cubic centimeter of alcohol and 50 cubic centimeter of alcohol both were added so that rises up to 95 so why it so happened water has its own um, uh, its own capacity but water when it was added into alcohol so due to the space that was covered and only 95 cubic centimeter remained so you can also see if you have 50 cubic centimeter of pea, grains of peas and 50 cubic centimeter of rice in two jars in two tubes so when you add both of them so you can see that um, due to the space the grains of rice were covered so through this evidence we can say that molecules have space and after reading that these topics very carefully you are able to give the one word answer of these questions now come expansion and contraction how the molecules expand and how they contract when the molecule when any object like solid liquid and gas and when they are heated up so their molecules expand get for her. and when they are cooler down so their molecules get closer to each other and they are contracted so, so after reading this topic very carefully you are able to give the answers of the questions they are given on the page What, uh, what about the pressure in gases? As you know that gases are squashy and can 
easily be compressed gas the molecules of gas can be compressed if a sealed container can resist the expansion when a gas is heated there will be more pressure inside the container and uh, uh, you use gas pressure every time when you blow, blow up a balloon millions and millions of air molecules are blown into a balloon with each breath the molecules move and are uh, move around rapidly and all in all the directions bouncing off with each other and with the walls of the balloon each time the molecules hit the wall of the balloon to give it uh, the to give the work at any push you can see when you blow the balloon so the walls of the balloons get pushed with the pressure of air that you blown into the balloon and that that's why the skin get tight tightened and the size of the balloon increases millions of tiny pushes uh, tiny pushes are at up one big push the air pressure that inflates the balloon air pressure inflates the balloon you can see the gas pressure that keeping this car tire of car inflated the higher above the sea level you go the lower the air pressure is there so passenger aircraft have pressurized cabins to maintain the same air pressure throughout the flight and uh, a barometer is used to measure the air pressure and air pressure varies depending on the weather condition a fall in pressure may mean that rain is on the way so the collapsing can experiment can, can experiment you can see that this can is filled with the air so when uh, there is the pressure the pressure of the air inside the can and outside the can is same but when the air is blown out is taken out has gone out of this can so you can see that the out due to the outer pressure of the environment and uh, the air pressure of air outside of the can has reshaped this can you can have you ever observed when you have a thin pack of soft drink uh, when that is filled so that maintains it, it, uh, its own shape when that is uh, uh, emptied so you can see that um, that kind of soft drink uh, also changes its shape because it has a little air pressure with that soft drink so when that pressure is removed from that can so due to the outer pressure of the air the it deteriorates its shape after reading this chapter very carefully now you are able to solve your objective that are in secures and true false and then the blanks to be filled and then the ideas for investigation